First, we are going to open a new file using the default .it image tracker file. Your main display features your master tempo, master volumes, and different channels for effects. Let's head on over to the samples window and load up a new sample. First, click on the open sample icon and select a new sample. Here in the sample window you have several different options for manipulating the sounds, such as playing it and stopping it to preview the sample, maximizing the volume, changing the volume by a percentage. You can also reverse the sample to play it from back to front as opposed to front to back. You can also change the, the default pitch of the sample and the default length of the sample. Programming music in OpenMPT is easy. Simply select your sample, select an open channel, and use the keyboard to program in different pitches. This can be done in the Patterns window, and then from there also new patterns can be created and sequenced to form complete songs. OpenMPT comes equipped with several macros for performing tasks and effects such as note delay, volume and cutoff changes, tone and volume portmento, vibrato, and arpeggiation, amongst others. These are controlled via the two macro columns in each channel of the patterns window, and their values use the hexadecimal system. There are online guides explaining the different macros as they vary from tracker to tracker. By clicking on the select button in the plugin section of the general window, we can select a VST effect. Clicking the edit button allows us to change the various values of each effect. These effects can then be applied to an instrument channel in the channel section. Effects can also be applied to the song as a whole. To do this, we first need to load a new effect, in this case, a compressor. Then, in the mix settings portion of the window, we can apply it to the song by selecting the master option. Now we're going to take a look at using VST instruments in OpenMPT. This is done much the same way that VST effects are loaded. Once we found our instrument by selecting the new plugin option, we can see that it has appeared in the VST instruments folder. We can then load it into an FX channel as we did with a VST effect earlier on. Then we go into the instruments window, click the new instrument option, and under the plugin slash MIDI section, select the VST instrument. Then we can go into the Patterns window to program in notes like we did with samples, or edit it like we did with an effect. Samples can be looped using the Loop and Sustain Loop sections of the Samples window. In the Patterns window, samples can be cut short using the Schwa key, which creates a symbol in the pattern that resembles two up-facing Vs. Using the equals sign, we can allow a sample using the Sustain Loop option to end the loop and play the rest of the sample through from the point where we inserted the equals sign in the pattern. Once we've finished our song, we can save or export it using the Save and Export to WAV options in the Files menu. The best way to learn, apart from practice, is to study tracker files by other artists. This is also a great way to acquire new samples and meet new producers. Tracker communities, such as the Amiga Music Preservation Society, provide extensive libraries of tracker files for aspiring producers and music fans alike to study and enjoy. Sometimes, the artists themselves may even host tracker files on their own websites.
Tracker programs have been utilized by a number of artists, ranging from electropop musician Calvin Harris to video game composers such as Jacob Kaufman and Jerome Tell to underground electronic artists such as Renard, DJ Scotch Egg, and Venetian Snares.